Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use layers in Microsoft Expression Web 4. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to use layers in Microsoft Expression Web 4. In order to use layers, you want to open Microsoft Expression Web 4 just by clicking the icon. Okay. And next, in toolbar, under HTML tags, where you can able to see layers. You may ask a question, why I want to use layer? I will tell you, right? So, you just click, double click the layer in order to insert the layer in your HTML page. And then, you can able to customize it. Okay. And before that, I will delete this layer. Now for example, I am going to insert and control, let us say, and button. Here, here is the button, it's a submit. Now I try to move this button around the HTML page. For example, I want to move this in center. No, it's not moving. I want to move it to bottom. No, it's not moving. Why it's not moving? Because the thing is, you cannot able to move the control as you like. It should be done in formal. How to do this? So that is the real use of layers. Now, I'm going to insert the layer just by double clicking the layer. Now, I'm going to resize it. See, this is a coding. So, the layer is nothing but a, a divider. In short, we used to say SD. What is a layer? A layer is nothing but a divider which consists of ID, name, and style. And you want to specify the width and height and indexed. index. Now, put the layer. Now I'm going to insert a picture. And when you, whenever you insert a picture, it will ask for the alternate text. Click OK. Provide an alternate text. FTI, Fisherman Finding Institute. Click OK. Now, I'm going to resize it. I'm going to customize it. And then, I'm going to type Fisherman Training Institute. Salala. Okay, and I'm going to increase the font size by selecting the text and move to default size and select double X large and make it bold. And if you want to apply the background color, you just select the layer or divider and then you can choose the color as you like then apply it now see now what is the use of layer see now I select this layer I can move this layer anywhere around the HTML page see it's moving this is a real use of layer Okay. so now I'll place it now I'm going to insert one more layer we'll drag it and drop it see it's easily moving now I'm going to say let us say Welcome to Fisherman Training Institute. Okay, so select the layer and resize it. Now I can move it. See, it's moving. Now select the layer and make it center alignment. I'm going to increase the font size. You can increase it. And now I want to apply the background color where you can choose the color as you like and apply it. You can change the font color by changing color the right here. Apply. Okay, fine and good. Next, I'm going to insert 
one more layer and then Let us say login. Let us say enter the username. And for example, I'm going to insert input text. See why it is not coming like this. See what is this? This is a form type. So what you have to do is okay you delete this control so before whenever you want to use any form controls what you have to do is after body tag you want to start the form tag form followed by you want to assign the name let us say me and close it and after that you cut the closing form tag and move it to the last where you can able to see the closing body tag before the closing body tag you paste the form tag okay now I'm going to insert and text box see now it's on the same line okay and then enter the password now I want to insert input type password and if you need a space just use the space bar and click here and move it and then I want to insert and submit button you see where is the submit button here is the submit button okay just double click it and change the value to login okay. and then I need an reset button and change the name to reset See now you can apply in color. Select okay. Now you may ask a question: what is the use? What is the use of this layer? Why can why I can't use table? The simple answer is you see, you can move it, you can move the entire layer in and around the HTML page. So this is a real advantage of using layers I think you guys may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video thank you